Did I scare you? <laughs> Welcoming Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with another haul. I kind of split it up into two because I had a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And this becomes not only one store, but two because I had a little bag of yarny stuff that I forgot to show you. That's bad. I should always remember these things, but you know, Dane Bramage. Uh, I did go to Dollar Tree. This, these clamps which they're calling them craft clamps. I sometimes use them when I have to put garments together to kind of get, you know, try to figure out what I'm doing with things and they hold better than trying to use a stitch marker to hold two panels together or something. They're handy to have. Dollar Tree going into my giveaway because I already have some myself. Little giveaway box here. And if you've ever received mail from me, you know, I put stickers on everything. I got some more stickers. Yes, little tie-dye rainbow hearts and some little stripey stars. I just like them, so stickers I have. Now, those were from Dollar Tree, and Dollar Tree, my Dollar Tree had yarn. Okay, let me tell you, it was a quick trip. I walk in there with the cart, and I'm on a mission. I head over to where the yarn is, and I'm, or where, you know, would be, and I'm looking, and I saw a stray ball of yarn. It's here. It's high. We have to find it. So yeah, I had to find it. It was on the bottom shelf, tucked back, and the box was barely open. And when I say the box, I mean there were actually three. No, I didn't buy all three boxes. Not this time. Okay. Pulled out the box, and uh, there was some random stuff in it, including some cotton. Now, I, I am pretty loaded up on cotton right now, but this is a color that I don't have. This one is the Just Cotton in the color Lemon Lime. That screams spring and summer to me. These are medium four weight, 60 grams, 96 meters. And uh, yeah, just your basic kitchen cotton. They're 85% cotton, 15% polyester. They are just fine for any kitchen or washcloth or anything related item. They work really well for that. On the bed they go. The rest of this, and the way <laughs> it ended up getting shoved into a Marshalls bag in a Dollar Tree bag. That just happens in this house sometimes. I got two of these, just yarns, because I didn't have the color and they were lonely there. They were the only ones there. This one is called Pastel Peach. On the just yarns, these are 100% acrylic, uh, 60 grams, 120 meters. The just yarn, this is a premier yarn. It works up very nicely. It's got a super tight twirl to that and yes I still have my Halloween nails so I do you should be used to that weirdness by now okay but something else that they had at this one I was pleasantly surprised to find I saw it on Jennifer uh, cinnamon stitches and of course I'm jealous totally jealous of her Dollar Tree they have got so much stinking yarn I'm like what but yeah mine does not but mine did have some just active. I have got five, again with the five balls of yarn, of this same stats, actually not the same stats. These are 50 gram, 100 meters. These are 80% polyester, 20% acrylic. They say machine wash, tumble dry. And this one is just called white. And I got five of these. It feels pretty soft. I think it's going to feel really nice when it's worked up and it looks like it's got a really good twist on it just like the other just yarn so um it's going to be nice to work with okay off to the bed you go so far i've landed them all on the bed okay and i have and there might be some more of these in the other bag i don't know i have five of these in the just active Yes, it's orange. You've probably seen they had some Halloween-y looking colors. And this one is just called orange. Same stats as the other one. This is the Just Active, not the Just Yarn. But still, a buck for each one of those. And I was thrilled to pieces to find it. Pardon me. <laughs> because wait, there's more. Of course there's more. This is me you're talking about here. And this is where it gets kind of weird because... In this lighting in here, it's hard to tell the difference between the really dark blues and the blacks. So I have to look at the labels. This, oh boy, I know that I have more of this blue in here somewhere. 
here it is. Just this is just yarn, not the just active. I found a couple of balls in this color called ink. It is a deep dark blue. It's looking a little blown out on my camera. It's deeper and darker than what it was showing. But there's also just active. Uh, and I got more than five of this because I didn't want the ones that were left feeling lonely in the box because there weren't that many. Um, okay, now that's purple. These are the Just Active, which is the polyester and acrylic blend one in black. Six of them. Looking a little blown out there because it is a nice true deep black. That's a little bit better. But there we go. Um, back to the Just Yarn, I found two of these. These are the 100% acrylics in light purple. It's a very pretty sort of lavender lilac color. Probably work with some of my towel toppers. And back to the Just Active. Five of these, and I think that's all I got of them. Look at that color. It looks almost what uh, Kayla from Alt Knots calls slime green. It is almost that color. This is the Just Active. This is the poly acrylic blend called Neon Green. That might be fun for something 80s related because we are doing a, a hashtag that 80s show all for, for an entire year, next 12 months. Be on the lookout for that. Oh, here's another Just Yarn. It was lonely, so I brought it home. I wanted to give it a good home. 100% acrylic. This is dark taupe. Not my color, but it will look good as a towel topper for some of the towels that I've gotten. Okay. And these might all be the same color. What? Five. Ah, ah, ah. Six. Seven. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm dropping them. Eight. Yeah, I think I did take all of these. Nine. <laughs> Nine. We toss all of them but one. Uh, the Just Active, that is the uh, poly acrylic blend. And these are just purple. And boy, are they purple. I'm digging it. I love purple. I think these are going to be fun. Okay. That is everything from Dollar Tree. I do have a little mini haul mini haul me um from walmart i got these last week or the week before and they've been hanging on a hanging spot over there and i just keep forgetting to bring them on pardon me okay and we're back um not a lot of yarn in here just some things i wanted to try this is the mainstays 100 percent cotton yarn that is sort of a minty green i don't remember what they call it it is uh, 100 grams, 165 meters, opaline green. They had to be special. Okay, opaline green, being a little extra there. But it's a four weight. It is your basic four weight. Um, this actually is a nice cotton, and it does wash up nicely if you're gentle with it. It's 100% cotton. It's not the cotton poly blend. You could make a garment with this stuff if you wanted to. Just saying, it's not harsh feeling at all. It feels pretty nice. I got one because I had not tried the lighter colors. I had this in like a black or something to make something I needed to make. On the pile. Okay. Okay, I remember what I got here. And Mainstays is getting a little extra now. They have got anti-pill acrylic. They just don't have it in a boatload of colors. I hope that they put it out in more colors. These are all Mainstays Anti-Pill Acrylic. They all have the same stats in uh, that they are 141.75 grams, 220 meters. They are four weight, and that is a nice four. The twist looks good. And they say machine wash, tumble dry, do not dry clean. 
I would be really, I would gentle cycle everything, even if it's anti-pulling acrylic. I don't trust any of that. But this one is charcoal. Okay, off it goes. This one is the creatively named white. Look at that twist. You can really see the twist in that. And it's also got the Okatex label. Confidence in textiles, standard 100. Tested for harmful substances, and they give you a website. So, just to know, that is on these. Really. Oh gosh, that didn't go as planned, now did it? It almost yo-yoed back at me. And this one is black. I don't know that they had, They I think they had slots for a couple of more colors, but my Walmart, the yarn section, is always a flippin' mess. So... You don't expect much. I was surprised when I saw this. I went in there the other day and they did have some of the mainstay sparkle, but they had it in like one color left. The rest were already wiped out because as usual, I'm a day late and a dollar short to get to something. But yeah, mainstays are picking up their game if we can just get our Walmart stores to follow along and stock this stuff. I'm just saying or anything else. Stocking a lot of things. I know everything, there's a supply chain issue for everything everywhere right now. And that's just, this is just me griping. You know, I don't think it's our individual store's fault, but when stuff is just a total mess, that to me becomes the individual store's fault. And the customers, because I know customers have a lot to do with it. But uh, I've worked in retail. <laughs> this is not a new concept to me. But you know, if you make it look really good and you maintain to do that all the time, it makes it a little harder for the average lazy customer to justify, oh, I'm just going to toss this here because it's already a mess anyway. It doesn't even matter. Mm hmm Oh, yes. I worked in stores that you had to have everything fronted up and pretty every day. Every day. Yeah. I'm so glad I'm not in retail anymore. My feet couldn't handle it. But anyway, I'm looking forward to working with this yarn. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Right now, though, it's piled up on the bed, so I'll have to put it all away before I can go to bed tonight. I'm on my lunch break from work right now. I will um, let you guys go from here. Have you have you bought any yarn recently? I know I've had two videos now with little hauls, and I'm actually still waiting for the mail or some shipping, whatever, for a Lion Brand order, but their shipping seems to take longer than anything on the planet. Um, so waiting on that, have been waiting on that for a while. Oh, in case you're seeing my little shirt here, want to raise some heel. Yeah, this is a torrid shirt. He's like sitting in my pocket. It's kind of cute. I've had it for quite a while. I absolutely love it because I love torrid stuff. This I made way earlier in the year. It was my first attempt at anything Cardi like, and it turned out super big because, and that was all on me. Um, it's very comfy and cozy and warm. And like I said earlier, maybe I said it in the previous video, it's 60 degrees in the house right now. I am not turning my heat on because I know it's going to get warmer again. So I'm just dealing with it. When it's cool, you bundle up because heat is expensive. Thank you very much for coming by. Please hit the like, subscribe if you haven't already, and tell me what you've bought. Or if you have a haul video recently, you're a creator, let me know and I will come check it out because that's what we do here. <laughs> Thank you. See you very soon. Bye now.